Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday Morning Yoga. Today's class is about grounding, but grounding in a different way. So we, we keep talking about feeling the earth beneath us in these classes, and heaven knows we need that. We need to get ourselves slowed down and, and grounded. But in a sense, we've all kind of been grounded for three months now. <laughs> So I want to talk about the feet today. And on my YouTube videos, I've had a few people plug in, please do videos about the feet. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of a foot fetish thing. So that's not where we're going with this. <laughs> but I literally want to do some practices this morning that help us have a stronger foundation through our feet in our poses. So we'll do a lot of different stretches and movements for our feet. So we are going to start in mountain pose. And Ron, I'm sorry because you look so comfortable just laying there ready to, to relax. But I'd like you to come up onto your feet. And um, let's just find our feet that way first. All right, so as you're finding mountain pose, I'm um, fiddling around and trying to get you guys some music here. So start to root down through the soles of your feet and see what that feels like because we all stand differently in our feet. We all have different ways of feeling the bottoms of our feet. So where do you feel connection to the earth? Heels? toes? Are your arches a little more flat? Can you maybe lift your toes and see what that feels like when the ball of your foot gets grounded a little more firmly? Start to press into the ball of your big toe. And when you do that, like that's a really big bone right there. What does that feel like when you can anchor down into the ball of your toes, big toe? And then what about rolling through to the ball of your pinky toe? Can you also feel that? So there ends up being this straight line across the front of your foot. Let your toes just relax down softly. And now start to feel into your heel. Start to feel into the very middle of your heel. And let's just consider those at those three points, those three dots as our three anchor points, the ball of the big toe, the ball of the pinky toe, and the middle of the heel. So Gail, nothing, no music. Okay. Now that you have those three anchor points, my friends, rock forward into your feet and rock back into your feet. And do that three or four times and see if you can feel the way your body deals with movement through the feet. There are all these amazing little proprioceptors in the bottom of our feet that help us with our balance. Roll into the outside edge of your foot and the inside edge of your foot. And then find the center. Find the very center. From this rooted position, lift tall. Reach through the crown of your head. Imagine just growing roots down through the bottoms of your feet. And then I'm gonna ask you to lift your arches. And that's not something you can physically see, but energetically imagine a string pulling up the inside arch. We also have an outside arch, and we have an arch across the front, so lift those like the three anchor points press down, but the arches lift up. See what that does in your body. With the feet rooted down, raise your arms high, 
stretch as high as you can. Lean to one side and then the other a few times. As you lean, notice though that a foot wants to lift, so you're gonna press the foot more firmly as an anchor to hold you in place. Slowly let your arms lower down to your sides. Put a bend in your knees, hinge from the hips, and lower yourself down into a forward fold. In this fold, you get to look at your feet. Take a look at your toes. You might even like press down on your feet. So many people are unfamiliar with their feet or maybe even embarrassed by their feet don't have a loving relationship with their feet, I want you to give your feet some love today. Commit to getting a pedicure and a foot massage as soon as it's safe to be that close to another person. Let's bring our hands to the mat and we'll lower our knees down to the ground. We're going to come into child's pose. You can take your knees as wide as you'd like, but just notice this first stretch across the front of your ankles. And with your body closer to the earth, you can just feel the sense of being a little more grounded and connected. Just notice anything that you feel about your feet in this position kind of a face down position. You know, yoga makes our feet better at what feet are made to do. So we're gonna come up to our hands a little bit and lift our hips. I want you to just tuck your toes under. So I'm gonna bring my knees closer together. And I'm gonna to start to just press down into the toes, stretching the underside of the toes. And this is pretty uncomfortable for a lot of people. We don't spend a lot of time in this position. So if you are feeling okay there and you want to go a little farther, you can come up and actually sit on your heels. Sometimes this pose is called screaming toes for good reason. We're stretching the bottom of our our arches where people maybe are feeling plantar fasciitis. Um, if your toes are tucking under, you might reach down and bring that little pinky toe out a bit. Yeah. If we could do this for just a minute every day, we would bring so much more just blood flow and light to the bottoms of our feet, the underside of our toes. Mm. Ooh. Go ahead and release that to a tabletop position. Let your feet flatten out again and just notice. You might feel energy, you might feel blood flow. And then let's alternate lifting one knee at a time off the mat. So now this is a really great stretch for the runners to have suffer with shin splints lengthening across the top of the foot, the front of the ankle, and the shin. All right, let's reach our hands forward a little bit. We'll tuck our toes and start to lift up into downward facing dog. And put all of the alignment principles that you know into your dog, but let's start to pay attention to feet in down dog. So we start out almost always by pedaling the heels and alternating the stretch from one to the other. But for today, come way up onto your toes, just like you just did in screaming toes. Come all the way up to the very tip of your big toe and stretch the underside of your toes. We use the term a lot, motion is lotion, and that just means moving your joints, lubricating the joints. So think how infrequently we move these little joints in the toes. And let's just change that now, bring the top of the toes down to the mat and just give a little press there. 
and switch. Mm. And then just settle into down dog, press your heels to the earth, lift your toes, then you look underneath your toes, and then just let the toes rest, filling that up the backs of the legs. Slowly walk our feet to meet our hands. Let's come back into that forward fold, knees bent. And now slide your hands under your knees, gorilla. Your palms are up and your toes get to just wiggle at the crease of your wrist. You can kind of tickle the bottom of your arches with your fingers, kind of press in to your arches. Release the hands. Take a hold of your big toes with your peace fingers. And instead of pulling up on the toes, push your toes down into your fingers and then lift and lengthen through the back of your body. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull yourself down. Bend your elbows and pull down. Let's do that again. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to lower. And one more time, lift and lengthen. Lower and exhale. Release our fingers. With a bend in the knees, let's scoop the arms up into chair pose. And then slowly rise up to stand, extended mountain. And let your arms fall down by your sides. Beautiful. Let's reach the arms up again. Extended mountain. We'll move through some sun salutations, just warming our bodies up. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, half lift. As we exhale, stepping the feet back, downward facing dog. Shifting forward, plank pose. You can be on your knees or your toes as we lower halfway down, chaturanga. Come into either cobra or upward facing dog your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then down dog, kind of play through the feet again. Drop your heels, lift your toes. Drop your toes, lift your heels. Settle. Looking forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold. And then reach the arms high, a grand gesture of expansion and opening. And exhale back to the heart. Feel the earth beneath your feet. And we'll do that again. Reach up, extended mountain. Fold forward. You might close your eyes now. You know this part. It's familiar. Half lift. Down dog. Take a vinyasa, knees or toes. Feeling your body respond to movement. Pausing in down dog to work through the feet. Looking forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Find that half lift. A sigh as you exhale. Scoop the arms all the way up. Extended mountain, go back a little farther, back bend and gather your hands into your heart. Let's go one more time, friends. Sun A, reach high, lean back. Softly bow forward. Half lift, what are you noticing? Down dog, what are you feeling in your body? Stay here. Shift forward and lower. Rise and extend. Hips to the sky, down dog, work through your feet. Hmm. Just come forward, hands to shins, half lift and fold. Reach high, extended mountain. Let's find that back bend, go back a little bit more. 
and then bring your hands to your heart. Pause here, close your eyes, just notice what's happening inside. Now that we've built a little feet, now that we're grounded, we're a little more connected to our feet and the earth. What's here now to be noticed? your hands at the crease of your hips drop your hips back and come into chair pose and pause again to find those three points beneath your feet so you can step wider or you can be narrow press into the ball of your big toe the ball of your pinky toe and the middle of your heel and just feel those three points rooting you down to the earth you can add arms or not but see about lifting the arches of your feet. Really anchoring down on the exhale, the arms lower, the torso lowers. Keep going until you find yourself in a forward fold, arms lifted. Let's do that a couple more times. Deep bend in the knees, sweep the arms to chair. Exhale, lower the arms, lower the chest, straighten the legs and reach back. Movement with breath, motion is lotion. Lubricating the joints, hydrating the places that need that. Pause right here, and if you can, just interlace your fingers. It's not crucial, but it's gonna give you a little more sensation. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. As we release those fingers to the floor, let's press up halfway and extend ourselves back to downward facing dog. This time our feet will be wide, the width of our yoga mat. Press down through your hands, lift up through your hips, and then just start to work through the feet again, putting a giant bend in one knee, and rolling all the way up to the toes of, the, of that foot. Shift your hips to the right and shift your hips to the left. And then we'll come back to the center with our feet. Let's raise the right leg up high. Wiggle your toes, circle your ankle. And on the exhale, step that foot through. Come to low lunge. This is really the first time we've lengthened that hip flexor. So take a moment here. Maybe wiggle your toes back a bit, lengthen through the head. Just explore that back foot, really press into those toes like you're stretching the underside of the toes of your back foot. And then we'll drop that heel coming up into warrior one warrior one today we're going to pay extra attention to the feet so let's bring our hands back to our hips for just a minute and then heel toe your front foot out wider so you're going to feel like you're standing on two train tracks it's easy to find the front foot the three points but I want you to find those in your back foot. So start by, notice if you press into the ball of your big toe, your knee caves in. So press into the ball of your pinky toe. I do that a couple times. I don't know if you can kind of see my knee kind of wobbling in and out, but press into that outer edge of the foot and you should feel that up here in your glutes, yeah? And then also down through your heel three points okay so the back foot is anchored now we're just going to reach the arms forward and up see if that has changed anything about your relationship to your warrior pose let's hook our thumbs and reach back a little farther breathe in 
breathe out, rooted here to the earth, but tall and proud like a warrior. And let's release the hands. We'll come all the way forward over that front leg. Let the arms again fly behind you. Head down, fingers high. Movement with breath. So don't lose the feet. But start to move with your breath. Face is relaxed. Might even be a little pleasant smile on the inside of your lips. Reach high, inhale. And on the exhale, hands fall to the mat, downward facing dog. You can stay here working through your feet or you can take a vinyasa, your choice. How you wanna to play today. Now just pause for a moment and see if you can tell difference, left foot to right foot. As I look at mine, they even look a little different. Let's raise the left leg high, circle the ankle, wiggle the toes, and step that foot forward. Low lunge. And then just lengthening the body. So there's a stream pulling the top of the head forward. We're gonna get really high on those back toes and just kind of Stretch the underside of our toes. Happy feet. I promise you they are happy that you're paying attention to them. They're ignored, sometimes even hated. Let's love our feet. They do so much important work for us. So we'll drop the back heel and start to make your way up into warrior one. We'll lower the hands to the hips and start to bring your left foot to the left edge of your mat, a little bit more like you're on train track. So if you were looking at me front, instead of me being on a tightrope, I'm gonna be a little more like I'm standing on two train tracks. So we find those three points in our front foot, no problem. Let's find them in the back foot. I'm gonna turn the other way. So ball of the big toe, easy, but that caved in the knee. Now ball of the pinky toe. And then right down through the middle of your heel. Get those three points grounded in that back foot. Lift arches up from there. We'll sweep the arms around into warrior one. Find your footing, reach up from those strong roots and then hook your thumbs, lean back. When we stand our ground like this, we are able to really be the warrior that we came here to be. A warrior for connection, a warrior for unity, warrior for intelligent conversations and dialogue. What, what are we standing for today? Be firm in the feet. Mm. Let's start to flow. Feet stay firm. Arms reach back. Lift up nice and slow. Move them up with breath. You are anchored. Those feet hold you here. So much of our balance really comes from the feet. The ability to be stable on the earth comes from our feet. One more time, reach those arms back and then release your hands to the earth. Step back down, dog. You can stay here and work through feet or you can take a vinyasa. step or float to the top of your mat lift halfway and fold yourself in half
I'm connecting those feet to the earth. Let's reach the arms high. Extended mountain. I always like just a little extra backward movement. And then hands settle at the heart. We're going to play with a balancing posture. So if your balance is compromised in any way, you might get yourself close to a wall or maybe a piece of furniture. I'm going to start by standing on my right foot and cross the left foot into a figure four. Okay, and so then let's come back down into that one-legged chair now, a standing figure four. And I want you to just take that foot that's up and give it a little massage. You can use the heel of your hand inside the arch of the foot. The other hand could be holding you balanced. I should have had you guys bring massage oil to class today, huh? Wiggle your toes. Like use this as a time to build balance, but also to just create a more loving relationship with your foot. Move it around, massage. 25% of our bones are found in our feet. 25%, there's a lot going on there. So then with hands at the heart, just allow yourself, maybe it's one hand at the heart, but just allow yourself to lower a little bit more. You should feel something around your outer hip. And we'll release up from that. That leg that was on the top is gonna to come all the way around behind and cross behind. Okay, so now my left leg is behind me. I'm gonna to roll to the outside edge of my foot. So instead of it being flat, I'm gonna kind of roll onto that outer edge. Yeah? And then we'll just hinge from the hips, come down into a cross-legged forward fold. Right leg is in front, left leg is behind. It's lifting up the arch of that back foot. You should also notice that around your left hip your knees can bend and let's start to walk our fingers over toward the right where you'll find again the bottom of that same foot the one that just got a foot massage it's right there you can kind of wiggle your toes breathe feel into the outside edge of that hip it's all connected fingers come back forward your knees will be bent as you uncross the feet put the bend back in the knees and reach the arms high extended mountain uh, let's open the arms up this time find a T shape chest lifted chin lifted feet firm welcoming what is here to be welcomed and just release your arms. Beautiful, everybody. We'll just switch sides. We'll stand on our left foot. So balance with something over here on your right side if you need to. Come into your figure four. And then begin to just hinge forward from the hips into that nice hip opening stretch where we get to give ourselves a little foot massage. So while you're doing this, you might even say to yourself or out loud, thank you, feet. Thanks for all the walking. Thanks for the running. Thanks for the biking. Thanks for allowing me to dance, to skip, to swim, to stand. Thank you. You might even picture in your mind that those first steps you took, you've probably seen pictures, those first steps you ever took in your life on your own two feet. Bring your hands to your heart, come a little deeper, breathe. Find that outer right hip.
Let's come up from that. And we'll just bring that leg all the way out and around, crossing the right leg now behind the left. Come onto that outer edge and find that forward fold. So now my left leg is in front, my right leg is behind. And we'll walk the hands over to the left side. Take deep, deep, deep breath into your right hip. Long, slow exhales. And we'll walk our fingers back to the front. Look we'll on, cross the legs. Root down through three points in each foot. Bend in the knees and sweep the arms up high. Find those anchor points and then again, let's just open. Just see if you feel a little more rooted, grounded, connected to the earth. And does that allow for even more lift, more expansion, more opening into the world? Because you know where your feet are. And then lower. Beautiful, everybody reach the arms high. Exhale forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment again to either pedal through your feet or roll through vinyasa. And then we'll just raise the right leg high. Let's step that foot between the thumbs. This time we'll drop the back knee. Drop the back knee. So there's that hip flexor again, and that back foot can be flat this time. Let's bring ourselves back into a hamstring stretch for that front leg. We'll pause here for a few breaths. So to make this a little more sensational, you can Walk your right heel forward a bit more. It's a little bit more kind of like the splits. You can walk your fingers forward. Reach your head forward. But press your hip back. Just pause here in this forward fold. Nice length. Deep stretch. Pull your toes back. You might even grab those that big toe and give it a little extra tug. Move into your Achilles tendon, your calf muscle. And let's just release, coming back to kneeling lunge. Tucking the back toe, drop the heel one breath up into warrior one. Find those six points again, three under each foot, reach, reach. And then exhale, hands to mat, downward facing dog, your choice. Stay here or take vinyasa. And when you're ready, we'll raise the left leg high, stepping that foot through, we'll drop our back knee. Starting there, back foot flat, knee on the earth, gorgeous. Sliding back, we'll find that hamstring, so that might be enough right there. It could be the stopping place. But if you'd like, scoot your heel forward, pull your hip back. Fingertips crawl to the top of the mat. Crown reaches toward the toes. Just breathe into what you find right here. Hook your left toe with your peace fingers if you want a little more pulling foot backwards. Release that 
flatten the front foot. We'll tuck the back toes, rise up one breath, warrior one. And on the exhale, feet are firm. We find downward facing dog and just one more option of vinyasa if you appreciate keeping that heat, working on that upper body strength. And then let's all drop our knees to the earth. Take the knees wide, big toes close together. Shift your hips back in in child's pose. Allow yourself to settle here, forehead on the earth or maybe a block or your hands. And just maybe some gratitude here for the earth that we walk on with these feet. For the way she holds us puts up with us, <laughs> tolerates us, gives us life, just a moment of gratitude to our mother. And let's bring ourselves back to a tabletop position. And we're gonna tuck our toes again. I usually have my feet flat for this, but tuck your toes, find a little bit of a stretch there as we work through some cat and cow. Inhale to lift and exhale to round. Just exaggerate all the way up and down the length of the spine. Motion is lotion. Move between the joints. Move between the vertebra. find a neutral spine you can release your feet and we'll just kick the feet off to one side bring ourselves around to a seat into a seated position and let's take first our left foot so right foot is in just like easy seated left foot is going to come up on top so this is a, a prep or a version of lotus pose which is not really great for everyone's knees and see how high my knee is but what I'd like you to do is just allow that knee to drop to wherever it will so that you can start to feel a stretch in the outside of this left foot okay so that left foot is up kind of up by the groin now if this hurts your knee you can place a, a block or something under that knee to protect it but what we're looking for is this outer ankle stretch right there Okay, so we're gonna kind of sit with that while we do an upper body posture. So you might just need to fidget around and kind of let that foot fall off the inside of the knee a bit. And then we'll bring our arms up high. Let's interlace the fingers, press the palms to the sky. And it's kind of hard to not be aware of what's happening in the foot, but lift up away from there, just lift. Take an inch bend to each side and just allow that ankle to stretch, to open. We'll go each way one more time. And then let's slowly release those hands. I'm gonna ask you to keep your foot there. There's probably some sensation happening straight the right leg and then you can just readjust that foot so there's still a stretch in that outer ankle we're going to reach forward over the right leg in a forward fold so it's important that we can tell the difference between sharp pain and discomfort we always want to avoid sharp pain we always want to avoid discomfort too but yoga invites us to not run from the discomfort but stay and learn from it be with it grow through it come up and then 
just extend that leg. All right, we're just gonna pound the legs on the ground. Just give them a nice little floor massage. Take both of the heels of your hands and just kind of pound all the way down. Tap, tap, tap the top of your feet, pound back up. All the way down, tap, tap, tap. And pause. I'm just gonna switch sides. So just bending the left easy. The right ankle comes as high as you can get it on your groin. You can support that knee if you if you need to. We're looking for a stretch in the outside of our right ankle. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Arms high, interlace press. Just find some length and some space in your spine. Just as high as you can, and then just take an easy stretch from side to side. Just let that knee drop down, let the ankle open. If you plan to do any hiking this summer, you want flexible but also strong ankles. All the way up, slowly release those arms. We'll extend that left leg out, reposition the foot. A lot of sensation in the outer ankle, and up and over we go. I always have to find the right place where it doesn't press right into my quadricep because that gets really tender. There we go. Breathe. Just breathe and notice what you're feeling here, what shows up. And bringing ourselves back, let's take both of those legs out again. This time with your hands, you're going to squeeze the muscles of your legs, squeeze around your knees, squeeze all the way down the muscles of your calves, and then literally like squeeze the bottoms of your feet. You bring your all four fingers right into that soft, fleshy arch in the bottom of your feet. Up and down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. In our feet are the nerve endings that connect with all, every single part of our body. Our nervous system ends here. So, come back up. Let's take one last look at your beautiful feet. Tell them thank you. And then start to find your way down to the ground. So we're going to come into bridge pose, and if you have a block or a pillow that you like to have underneath you, you can just do that for supported bridge, or if you prefer, lift your hips, interlace, and come into regular bridge pose. Wheel pose is also welcome. Find your feet though, find the ball of your big toe and really press into that mound. Find the ball of your pinky toe so you really feel that straight line across the front of both feet and then anchor down through both heels. With those three points of each foot pressing down, lift from there, lift your hips, lift your belly, open your chest, breathe your breath. Give yourself a moment of expansion, of opening, of being receptive. Heart forward, vulnerable even, but rooted, we know where we stand. that and open your arms out to the sides in a T. We'll do windshield wipers and these work really well if you can take your feet super wide, really wide, the width of your mat or wider and then just roll both knees to one side, 
come through center, roll them to the other side. Just like windshield wiper drizzle. Just the lightest drizzle of rain. They're going slow, they're intermittent. Take your time, no rush. Time and movement with your breath. The inhale, the knees come up, and the exhale, they settle to one side. Let the knees fall to the left. Pause there with the knees to the left, the head to the right. Come into this gentle, but profound, twisting posture. Shoulders on the floor. That right knee presses down so you feel something across the hip. Easing our way back to center. Slowly dropping the knees to the right and turning the head to the left. The left knee presses down a little to open through the left side. Each exhale invites us to rest more heavily on the earth. way back to center and draw your knees into your chest give yourself a hug move around a little bit see what needs to be found there and then widen your knees pull down on your knees turn your feet toward the sky and let's reach up into happy baby so you can pull down on your legs or your ankles, but if you can reach your feet, here's another opportunity to give your feet some love. So while we're pulling down, just tenderly press into the bottoms of your feet with your fingers. You might be moving around or you might be holding still. Let this happy baby be about your feet and babies are fascinated with their feet they put their toes in their mouths i don't know that i would recommend that but hey if that's in your practice today you can do you if it feels okay to you take a hold of both of your big toes with your peace fingers and then bend one knee more while you kick the other one out Feel a stretch in your inner thigh and then switch. One knee bends, the other knee straightens. And just explore that. Roll around on your back. Kick one, bend one. No one is watching. It's just you playing with your feet and stretching your body. Let's release the soles of the feet together on the floor, knees open. Let your right foot touch your left foot the way we do in Namaste. And bring both of your hands to your belly. Just feel your breath. And belly rises and falls. Feet are connected. Right side and left side coming together. Right side of your body is the masculine side. It's the, it's the doing side. It's the going out into the world and working and making things happen side of you. The left side of your body is your feminine side. It's your receptive side. It's your nurturing and caring and connection side. The soles of our feet together, what conversation is happening within your body 
when the strong doing one speaks with the soft nurturing one. Another moment to notice your breath. Take another moment to be in a body that is calm, present, aware. What a gift that is. As you feel ready, begin your journey back to a seat, stretching and moving in gentle ways, awakening, if you will, to this new glorious moment and day. And again, we will invite the right side of our body and the left side of the body to come together now in our hands. leave you with the words of the poet Rumi. Today, like every other day, we wake up empty and frightened. Don't open the door to the study and begin reading. Take down the dulcimer. Let the beauty we love be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. Let the beauty we love be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. So thank you for taking time today to kiss the ground with our feet. I hope that practice travels with you through the rest of this day as you kiss the feet with your earth, kiss the earth with your feet. I also want to wish Carol a very happy birthday. I'm so glad you joined us this morning. And Leslie, our love is going with you. We're sorry for your loss. Let's all nod, uh, bow our heads to ourselves and to each other. Namaste.